All roads are leading up to the mandating of the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, also known as the NFC chip implant in Europe, also known as the biochip implant. The word bio means body. Now, I'm not going to even read the title of what the brothers and few sisters see before you to prevent my channel from getting flagged and thus preventing me from uploading videos to it for a while. But to pretty much summarize the information that is found within this document, basically the who plans on releasing a digital Vaseline certificate that will be blockchain based, which will then ultimately lead to we know what. And so I will leave the link to this document in the description box of this lesson and Lord's willing you brothers and a few sisters can check it out at your own time perhaps for you brothers out there could do your own lessons however I will read this article here uploaded by the Bloomberg Quint.com which is entitled Central Bank and Digital Currencies to be Tested in Biz Experiment, published September 2nd, 2021, at approximately 9.30 a.m. Shalom, all praises, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who have taught me this truth, as well of men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy, to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea line of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob who are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great and abroad. To you I say Shalom and Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Ratizah. This lesson is edifying and concise. Bloomberg. The Bank for International Settlements will test the use of central bank and digital currencies with Australia, Malaysia, Singapore, and South Africa in an experiment that could lead to a more efficient global payment platform. And we understand that, again, all roads are leading to the mandating of the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, also known as the NFC chip implant in Europe, which stands for near field communication device also known as the biochip the body chip which is the goal of the new world order of the hegemony of the wicked who according to the book of malachi chapter 1 verse 4 is esau edom the so-called caucasian race as they call themselves today <laughs> because they are not white which means pure, they are red. Codenamed Project Dunbar, the study aims to develop prototypes for a common platform, which is a global digital centralized blockchain that will be overseared by a central authority or entity such as a central bank or 
the elites of Esau Edom through a central bank. Hence, the term centralized. That is the common platform. Because remember, when we go in to the word mark, the Greek, the Greek word is karagma and then terax and then grafo. And grafo means of the writings, filled with the writings, filled with the records. Because within the RFID microchip is where people's medical and financial information are going to be kept. And no man will be able to buy or sell save he that had the mark. And so in order for them to keep tabs on the buying and selling and ultimately the transactions of people globally, they will have to put everything under a global centralized blockchain that will be managed and overseered by a central authority slash entity such as a central bank for all roads are leading up to the mandating of the mark of the beast it reads on to say for a common platform that will enable international settlement in digital fiat currencies issued by central banks and it could also be that way it could be a series of central banks but it could be a series of central banks that will then be linked ultimately to one private mega entity which we know will be the hegemony of the wicked who is Esau Eden Biz said in a release Thursday, the system would allow direct transactions in central bank digital currencies or CBDCs. And it's not going to be like Bitcoin, which is a decentralized form of digital currency. It's not going to be anonymously uh, tracked or untracked, so to speak. Or rather, it's going to be tracked. It's going to be overseered. It's going to be monitored between institutions while reducing time and cost, according to Biz. Globally, central banks are trying to come to terms with emerging payment technologies pioneered by tech firms, including China's and Group Co., because China has just recently released their new form of digital centralized currency which, which is called the Chinese Yuan not only China but also other countries and now every other country is following suit which means that they're getting ready to dish the dollar so look out for inflation and then hyperinflation due to a coming financial crash and <clears throat> A lot of the times the Federal Reserve <coughs> like to say that inflation is transitory, which means temporary, but inflation is not transitory. It is actually uh, at this moment in time, pretty uh, long lasting and it will only get worse and lead to hyperinflation. Okay. For those of you out there that follow our financial lessons. Anyway, reading on, it says globally, central banks are trying to come to terms with emerging payment technologies pioneered by tech firms, including China's and Group Co. Additionally, Facebook Inc.'s Dian project, formerly known as Libra, is building out a global payment network that could serve its own stablecoin or central bank digital currencies. Notice they always mention the term central bank right? because it's going to be centralized. It's not going to be. Again, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, 
and other forms of digital currencies that are decentralized, that are not tracked. Because a lot of transactions happen anonymously. Dogecoin is another example. Litecoin is another example. The rapid growth of cryptocurrencies, which are distinct from digital currencies issued by central banks, you see, is posing a potential threat to existing monetary regimes and adding, and adding urgency to, the, to debates on handling cross-border money transfers because right now, for the most part, cryptocurrencies are decentralized and not centralized. And so they are going to ultimately centralize everything and have them overseared by a network of central banks that will be linked to one mega super entity or everything will just be linked to one single super private entity, which we understand will be controlled by the hegemony of Esau Ian. And that is how they're going to be tracking the transactings of people globally, the buying and sellings do that chip. We are confident that our work on multiple CBDCs for international settlement would break new grounds in the next stage of CBDC experimentation and lay the foundation for global payments connectivity, said Andrew McCormack, head of the Biz Innovation Hub Singapore Center. Results of the study are likely to be published early next year, Biz said. I will leave the link of this article to this article in the description box of this lesson, Lord's willing, and now let's go to the scriptures. And you should all know Revelation chapter 13 and 16 on down by now. So I'll just go through this. But to those out there that don't and that are new, please listen carefully. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, and he, now who's the he referring to? The he is referring to the hegemony of the wicked, who is Esau Edom. According to the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4, causeth all, all people on the planet earth, except, except for the elect of the nation of Israel. Because the Lord is going to preserve and protect his elect. The Lord is going to keep his elect from the hour of temptation. Both small and great, whether they be a newborn baby to an elderly singer in society, rich and poor, whether they be rich or whether they be poor, free and bond, whether they be free or whether they be in bondage in the jail systems, to receive a mark. That word mark in the Greek is karagma, which means a stamp or imprinted mark, which is the RFID microchip, also known as NFC chip implant in Europe, also known as the biochip implant. The word bio means body. The word of charagma is, is uh, karagma is charax. Like I said, I'm going a little quick because at this point we should know the prophecy concerning the mark of the beast. But as I was saying, the root word of karagma is charax, which means a palisade or stake, which is the syringe mechanism that they will use to puncture the flesh of an individual to then insert the karagma, the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip, whether it be in their right hand or in their foreheads. Root word of Charoxus grapho, which again, as I mentioned earlier in this lesson, means of the writings, filled with the writings, filled with the records, because within the RFID microchip is where people's information is going to be kept, it's going to be stored, it's going to be recorded. And that is how they'll be able to buy and sell. And that's how everything's going to be linked globally through a centralized blockchain in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast and the beast is the pagan roman empire which came back in the form of nato and the eu with america being an extension of that empire that is the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom that him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man 
And his number is 600 trees score and 6666. And you see this on the UPC code behind your products in the convenience stores. And basically what the UPC is, is that it's, uh, it's like a product code that is used to track goods and services globally. It's basically those long black lines that you see behind your products. And the true long lines are 666, which will then ultimately, ultimately be transitioned over to a centralized blockchain. As we were reading about in the article earlier. And all this will be linked to the mark of the beast. This is the RFID microchip. 666 in the Greek is Chi Zai Stigma. Some brothers say Chai Stai. I used to say Chai Stai, but you know, I just went into it, listened to it, the pronunciation of it, and it's actually Chi Zai Stigma. Chi and Zai both means X mark. And there's a saying in the world, X marks a spot. I made a lot of reference to this in the past that you look at certain medical movies, before they puncture the flesh of an individual with a syringe, they would mark an X or a circle with a dot in the middle on their arm or any part of their body and that would be considered the spot of puncture. It's the same thing that's gonna happen in reality. Stigma means stamp. Also, according to the online etymology dictionary, figuratively it means a mark of disgrace so those that take that chip they're going to take a mark of disgrace that will lead to their demise through fire and this is their judgment revelation chapter 14 verse 9 and the message out there is for you israelites not to take anything from these devils don't take that chip don't take that that venom It says, Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, the image of the beast is the system of the beast, which is comprised of his medical infrastructure, his financial infrastructure, his architectural infrastructure, his military, his laws, his democracy. Everything that comprises this man's system is the image of the beast. And receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And so the wrath of the Mosai, Yahweh, through son Yahweh Shai, is being likened unto wine. In which those that worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand are going to drink from the cup of his indignation. For the indignation of the Lord, which means righteous anger, is being likened unto a cup that is wrath, which is being likened unto wine, is going to be poured out into, and they shall drink from. It says, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, meaning that they're going to feel the full fury, the full potency of the destruction that the Lord is going to execute upon this earth. Especially upon those that worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup and the wine is red. Psalm the 75th chapter. And he shall be tormented with fire from those ICBM nuclear missiles. Scripture says, A fire not blown shall consume him. Because a fire typically requires air, fuel, and oxygen. This is considered or known as a fire triangle. But a fire not blown is going to consume the wicked and his kingdom and those that receive his mark. Because a nuclear missile today is detonated after the phenomenon of fusion and fission. Fat man and little boy had detonated after only fission. But now these thermonuclear missiles do so after fusion and fission which makes them a lot more powerful and deadlier and that's that fire 
and brimstone in the presence of, his, of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, who is Yahweh Shai, our Lord. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, meaning for a period of time. And they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast in his image and whosoever received the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and the faith of Yahweh Shai. And who are they? The elect of the nation of Israel, which Lord's willing. I am a part of it as well as you brothers and a few sisters out there. Okay. And to you women out there that have a problem with us beginning with the apostles and elders saying few sisters, look man, you better get get your shit together, man. Get your shit together. Cause this ain't about you, this ain't about any of us. This is about your how about Shimi shot. And if you want all that attention, just go to IUIC or ISUBK or one of those other camps, man. We, we don't have time for all that. We have, all, all we care about right now is prophecy. The elect, feeding the elect. Anyway, I just had to say that in the spirit. With that being said, Lord's willing to lessons that are fine to the elect. Until the next, I say, Shalom. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Achak, Dash Brakatam to the elect.